having a really passionate teacher kind of pushes it onto you and makes you really enjoy what you're doing because they're passionate about the content then you'll be passionate about it as well. I wanted to become a teacher because of my passion for kids and my love of learning. Also I wanted to become a teacher because I wanted to make a difference. Seeing that moment when the students they understand an idea or they pick up a skill and they're so proud of themselves. It's such a delightful experience, I'd say. The role they're taking on is actually a vocation, not a job. It's probably without peer in our society with respect to the importance of how we progress, not just in Australia, but globally. So there are two parts uh, to making a good teacher. The first part is the academic knowledge. Uh, good teachers know the discipline areas in which they're teaching. The second part are the non-cognitive attributes around propensity to teach. They're much harder to assess, but they're equally important. They've also got to know how to interact with parents. So I think it's important that they learn that from the outset. And first and foremost, sees their role as someone who is supportive of um, students and, and children, who actually loves spending time with kids. You need to be open to be uh, reflective on what you're doing and willing to change when you need to. You, know, you might be teaching the same subject for five years and in that fifth year you just get a different mix of students and all of a sudden the activities don't work anymore and you have to change things. You can't just keep doing the same thing you've always done. It's also a really exciting time at the moment where lot, there's lots of research coming out around learning and good instructional practice for you to be able to get the most out of our students and to improve our student outcomes. Being able to form solid relationships with your students to be on a level of understanding with them is also really important because if you don't have that connections with them they're going to find it really hard to ask for help and that's a really big part of being a teacher, being able to help your students. I found when I first started teaching it was really a daunting process. I was really nervous but once I got through the first lesson everything just started to flow and you really learn things on the go. I would hope that one of the things that happens as a consequence of teacher education is that you plant many seeds that will grow during a career and then there will be times in a career when that teacher will want to come back and replenish and develop new ideas and be pushed further themselves just the same as they expect of their students the same applies to them. Parents Victoria believe the quality of good teachers is making sure that they meet or surpass um, the Australian professional standards of teaching. So I would encourage everyone to spend as much time as possible in other people's classrooms as a lifelong learner to explore how you best uh, refine and evolve your practice. I am a bit nervous about going and doing f my first full-time placement in a school, but I feel like I've had the experience. A teacher confronts more people in a day than almost any job I can think of. So that could be 100, 200 students in a day that you're supposed to be able to understand and work with. How demanding is that? In their first year, uh, teachers should be able to apply the knowledge that they've learnt in their training program. Uh, they should be able to contribute uh, to the corporate life of the schools in which they're in, but they need to be able to do that in a supported way. I've really enjoyed having like the some younger new teachers and like the first year teachers because they have so much energy. The most important piece of advice I can give to someone starting out is to have patience in yourself, in the school that you're in, uh, and in the students that present before you.